welcome to the first day of the event season 2020. <laughs> so it is currently six o'clock and I'm on my way to go get a spike from the field. It feels so weird getting up. Freddy, why have you not got a fly mask on again? What's it doing on the floor? <laughs> it's so early, so I guess I'm literally, literally wasn't even expecting to get caught. So his was just munching grass, usually he's standing there waiting. Come on then. You're so pretty. You have to see this, this combination we've got on him. It's a fly mask, a snuggy hood, and a lightweight. <laughs> oh. Okay, it is about half an hour later because I realised what the time was and I hadn't done anything. <laughs> so that's great. Um, we're literally we're ready to go now. We're just waiting for mum. I need to whack a magnetic rug on Spike. And then we should be ready. I've washed his feet and legs. One of his feet is like sticky, which is kind of worrying. Like not a good sticky, like pussy sticky. And it's the one that, if you didn't know already, he threw a shoe on. So I think it might have been rubbed by the poultice boot, which is not particularly great. I don't know. I need to get home, that's not so cute. Oh, you can't even see him. Anyway, so I'm gonna throw this on him. And then mum should be here and we can go. I'm excited. Okay, so I've just walked the show jumping course. I'm so glad I've jumped bigger at home because this actually looks like small and doable now. And then, I haven't got much time to vlog so it's going to be a very quick update. I've just taxed bike up and I'm getting myself ready and then we'll go and do our dressage test. He's really relaxed at the moment and I've given him a calming cookie and with studs and everything he's been really good for so I'm hoping he holds it together for the dressage test. <laughs> also I think I mentioned this before but look how beautiful this ma Makara, I think it's how it's it. Show shirt is. I'll put the link in the description below. Oh wait, hold on, I'll turn it around. It's lovely pink, like, it's not like bright pink in your face, it's really nice. Okay, so Spike's dressage test was, like, it was a very correct test. It wasn't anything, like, record-breaking. It wasn't going to set the world alight, but he did try his hardest. Like, the whole warm-up, he was trying to focus so hard for me, and I do appreciate that from him. Like, he was on his best behaviour all day, um, we did, did have one little error as such, um, coming out of our free walk, he just decided that when I asked him to trot, I really meant canter, and that wasn't exactly what I meant, but, you know, so he struck off and then quickly changed his mind, but there was a little bit of tension there. So I would assume that the judge saw that tension and would have given us a blow him up for that movement, definitely. And then he wasn't fully relaxed over his back into my hand, so his head was a bit unstable throughout. Like, it remained at a similar level, but it was wobbling in and out of my hand the whole time. Um, but yeah, I think, I think the halt was square. I don't know if it's the angle my mum was at, his front feet might have been slightly out, but you know, like, his back feet were actually square ones, so very, very, very proud of that pony. The main aim of my show jumping round was to ride him from behind. I said to my mum before I go in, like, I want to ride his back end, get that power underneath me, like, everything's got to come from behind. And so I turned to the first one, and I could not see a stride, but I just sat up and kept my head up, and it was all good. Second one again, like, he just popped over. I thought he was going to hit it. He didn't. Third, yeah, I marked up stride to that one. He chipped in. It was all good. Um, coming to the fourth, again, I just could not see a stride to save my life. But I rode him from behind, and he sorted himself out, luckily, and sat up and kicked. He jumped that fifth one really nicely. Um, and then I was, again, like, from behind to the sixth, and he flew it. Um, I was actually really enjoying myself at this point. And then we came to 7th, and this was like the biggest one of the course, but it wasn't that big. And again, blew that. 
flew this one he did tap that though and I thought he had it down so I tried to look coming around this corner you might be able to see um but then I quickly rem remembered to focus on fence nine and whoo, he jumped up so nicely um yeah and then he ran on a little bit to the last double but he was clear and I'm so proud of him cross country I was actually like really I don't know I got really nervous in the start box um and I thought mm, do I even want to do this which was a bit unlike me, and I didn't really ride him properly, so he was a bit sticky to the first few jumps. And actually the third jump, he then <laughs> went and took a stride out of and hit the fragile pins on. Luckily didn't go off, but like he launched himself for that. Um, yeah, so these are both a bit sticky, but I kept my leg on, and he did it. And in the end, we had to go like double the speed we usually would <laughs> because he was so sticky and he needed the extra speed to like get his legs out of the way. But it was more my fault that he was sticky than anything else. But bless him. <laughs> and like he did, he jumped everything perfectly that I asked him to. He just added a load of extra strides. Um, and I even did a circle halfway around. We still only just made the time. Um, which is why I look like I'm about to fall off coming out of the water and that is actually because I was trying to think of ways that I could slow down afterwards without it being too obvious. <laughs> but he was amazing. Yeah, she, she tries to start him out that way. If we go up towards the top of the hill, we'll be able to see her coming through the water and then the finish. That's where she told us to go anyway. <laughs> I hate this knot. This is like a clinical event when you don't hear. And I hate it. It makes me feel sick because you don't know how far they've got. No. Anyway, they don't tend to commentate on my children because they can't say the name. <laughs> and it's when you hear a competition stopped at fence, you think, wait, where does it stop for? <laughs> Without the commentary, it's oh, sort no, of it's like really oh. it's not confused, just worried because you can't hear whether how far they've got. That's the, that's the horse in front of her, so that's how short it is, Trish. That they're I can leave you then because I can take care. Okay, so honestly, like, I can't stop smiling because it's just done the my, our first double clear in the time in like three years. He's so good, I love him so much. He was awesome, like show jumping, he was amazing. Cross country, I was very out of practice for cross country. Where can I put this? Look at that. Look at that, that's good. Um, so I had to make him go a bit faster in order to, like he was a bit sticky and I was a bit sticky, but clear, clear. Um, we literally just made time. We were on the like too fast line. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, I couldn't be prouder of him though, like, what a pony. What a pony, what a day. Too much love for him. Um, but yeah, like, it's a section for the pros as well. So the dresser scores are quite tight, but currently there's like a pole between us and second, but we're currently not placing. I'll update you if I find out anything more. It's been such a good day. I literally cried coming out of the show jumping arena. I was so happy with him. He jumped for his life. It was amazing. I love him. Also, I have so much more confident. And I rode him from behind, which was amazing. That's also good. That's washing. I love him so much. He's a dream. Best pony ever. It's so cute. <laughs> so it's actually been like half a day since we last did any form of <laughs> I'm trying to hold Spike it because I love him. Anyways, so the final scores turns out we came eighth. We did, I didn't tell you that. That's why I wanted you here. You're a very good boy. Both of our BE placings have actually been at Tweezerdown, and it was so nice to have his owner there today. Like, that really did make it so special. So, thank you for watching this vlog. Um, turns out the cross country time was really hard to make. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new, and see you next time. Off you go.